In this video, we'll look at the Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. This is our first experience with Virgin. It's going to be in depth, so let's get started. What's up, y'all? It's Jeff and Pam with you, me and the Sea Travels, bringing you another adventure. We just got dropped off by the shuttle from Safe Cruise Parking. We decided to try parking off-site instead of paying the enormous parking fees at the port on this cruise. It was a pleasant experience, with no problems. As we make our way through the terminal to get checked in and go through security, I could immediately tell there was a different vibe from other cruise terminals. There is plenty of seating here if you get checked in early but can't board. Now we head down the gangway for a week of fun. Before we go discover our new home for the next week, let's take a look at our accommodations. We start with the bathroom. I was surprised how small it was. Not really a lot of storage area for toiletries and such. In the shower, you have a rain shower head and a wand. I much preferred the wand. Across from the bathroom is the closet area, which we'll show later. The room features can be controlled by a tablet, or the old-fashioned way with buttons and switches, like opening the curtains, the TV, and lighting. The cabin has mood lighting that can be changed, which I forgot to film. Some of the moods are quite hilarious. Another interesting feature is the bed can be converted into a L-shaped sitting area, but it's a pain to do and should only be completed by your cabin steward. Here is the desk area with a mini fridge and the previously mentioned tablet. No need to worry about power outlets on this ship. There are American style plugs and USB ports at the desk and next to the bed. Here's a look at the fridge and my wearables. The gray and red device on my wrist functions as a key card. It works the same way as a key card. I just need to wave it in front of whatever needs to be scanned. In the casino, I noticed it was a little harder to use, which I should have taken as a sign that I didn't need to be wasting my money there. On this side of the bed are more power outlets and a permanent armrest that has a removable tray that could be used to eat on. I used it for my laptop while I was editing. One thing to note is that where you hang your clothes only has a curtain, if that's important to you. There is a small closet with a door that has shelves, several pull-out drawers, and a safe.
There is entertainment everywhere on the Scarlet Lady, including the elevator. Let's go grab a bite to eat and investigate the galley. We pass the pool area, which also has plenty of lounge seating. There is a smaller pool with a bar and what appears to be a small workout area. As we enter the galley, we have tapped that hot, which is coffee and the like. Across from that is the daily mix where you can grab a salad or soup. <laughs> you can grab your sweets at the sweet side. Just down from the sweet side, you'll find Diner and Dash, where you can enjoy a burger and fries or grab some breakfast. We'll visit the galley again later, but for now, let's check out what's happening in Miami. Let's take a look at our sea terrace balcony, where we find a little surprise. That's right, all balconies have a hammock and it's heavenly. We had dinner at the Wave on the first night, just as we set sail. I tried the shrimp and grits. It was a wee bit spicy for my liking, but good nonetheless. The twice-baked potatoes with caramelized onions were very scrumptious. For dessert, Pam had the apple tatin, and I couldn't resist the Meyer lemon cheesecake. The pizza place has the greatest wall art. The next morning we visited Razzle Dazzle for breakfast. I was feeling healthy, so I wanted to try the watermelon and sesame cream. I was expecting a small bowl with a slice, but was overwhelmed when I saw this. A lot of great entertainment happens in the manor. 
Today was the 80s jazzercise class. That you can rent. Let's see if we can take a peek. Nope, already booked. On decks 16 and 17 is where you can soak up the sun, do some exercise, and just enjoy life.
Let's take a peek over the railing at Richard's rooftop. Tune up is the ship's nail salon, so if you're looking to get polished up for dinner, make your reservations. If you're looking for a serious workout, then this is the place for you. As promised, here's the in-depth look around the galley. This is Gun Bay. It's Korean barbecue and was quite a blast. I didn't want to film our dinner because you sit with other passengers and I didn't want to make it any more awkward than it already was. But by the time dinner had concluded, we had made some new friends. If you cruise on Virgin, make sure you eat dinner at Gun Bay. There are two different ways to get food in the galley. The first way is to walk up to the counter of your choice and order, or you can sit at a table and raise the flag on one of the menus. A server will promptly walk over, take your order from any of the restaurants in the galley, and bring it to you.
Here is the Grounds Club. It is a premium coffee bar. At the social club, there are many games to play. You can grab a bite to eat. The Scarlet Lady has a unique arcade. It contains retro or classic arcade games. Here's the interesting part. Most, if not all of the games were free. Here's one of my favorite spots on the ship. It was absolutely some of the best ice cream we've had on a cruise.
The Red Room is the main theater. Here's a word of advice. If reservations are needed, make sure to book early. If not, get to the venue early. This cruise was sold out and we missed out on most of the entertainment because of this. The groupie is where you can get your karaoke on. On Virgin Voyages, they have an event they call Scarlet Night. It's usually midway through the cruise. Everyone dresses in something red, and it's very different from anything you have ever seen. It's hard to explain. You just have to experience it for yourself. As Scarlet Night was coming to a close, we decided to step out and get some fresh air. The Wake is one of the spectacular restaurants on board. Elegant dining is the specialty. We were only on a five-day cruise, so we didn't experience pink agave or the test kitchen. Making your way around can be a little difficult. So here are some of the deck maps. Well, that's all for the ship tour of Virgin Voyage's Scarlet Lady. Overall, it was a good experience. It was definitely different than other cruise lines. Here are some of the pros. The crew members were wonderful. They really seemed to enjoy their job. Second, the variety of food was amazing. It wasn't the typical buffet setting that you would normally find. Third, Virgin Voyages is an 18 and older crowd. So if you have young ones, you'll have to leave them back home. Fourth, all of the restaurants are included in your fare, not just the galley. Fifth, hammocks on the balconies. And now for the cons. The venues are not as big as other cruise lines. With a sold-out cruise, you have to make early reservations or stand in a long line and hope you can get in. Second, you may be wondering where the casino is. It is on deck six, forward. Unfortunately, it is smaller than other cruise lines and we weren't successful on the winning side, so we decided not to include it, it in this video. There are a handful of slots and just a few table games. Third, I wish the cruise would have been longer. There is so much to explore and so little time. We hope you've enjoyed this review of Virgin Voyage's Scarlet Lady. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and leave us a comment below about what you liked best. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be alerted when our next video comes out. Hey guys, we thank you for watching. Be sure to check out one of these videos and we'll catch you next time as we go cruising through life one port at a time.